Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is Thursday, December 5th. It's actually almost Friday, December 6th. It's like almost midnight. And I am totally failing on doing this whole vlogmas thing, but I just got home from work and I think I'm going to get my vlogmas day four edited and up for you guys. And then I also am going to go through my calendar and like write everything out. So I thought I would just do this vlogmas kind of doing like a plan with me um, for the month of December. I know it's been a few days obviously since this semester, what am I saying, the month started, but I'm going to try and get that done anyways and I'll record some of it for you guys. Oh, and another side note, I went through and I finally made a list of everything that I still need for my new apartment and I've got to say. Even though this list seems pretty long, I have done quite a bit to start chipping away at it. Um, the list on my phone, let's see if I can pull it up. Yeah, so if this is going to focus, the list on my phone was way longer. So the only things that are actually on this list now are the ones that are not checked. So. Yeah, that isn't too many. Okay, hi guys. Today it's like almost one o'clock, um, Friday, December 6th, and it's the first time I'm filming. I got up pretty early um, and I got my Vlogmas Day 4 uploaded, so now I kind of just want to go through and plan my month of December. I have my calendar. Let's see if I can show you. So I have my calendar here that I usually have like as a board, and then I have my other calendar up there. I think I'm just going to go through and get those organized. Okay, so like I was saying earlier, I have like this to-do list that I like to keep um, behind my door. So I have like my to-do list for school stuff, and then my to-do list for life. And then I usually like to write like a motivational quote, and then um, any countdowns that I have going on, and then over here I usually let me just remove this here I usually just have like my calendar here that I like to keep behind my door so that like I remember all the stuff that I have going on for the month and this is from November yes I have a note from my mom and I have a note from my aunt here I just keep them here because they wrote them so yeah I'm gonna erase this whole thing and I'm gonna go through and write the whole thing out and then I'm kind of just probably gonna speed through this okay so right now I'm just gonna show you I just cleaned off my whole board and I wrote the month of December. Okay, sorry you can't see my face here, but I wanted you to kind of see the board and what I'm doing here. So, I'm just going through and putting the dates of everything on the board so that I can go in and put all of my upcoming events, stuff like that. I also like to have it um, on my phone electronically as well. So this isn't the only place that like I keep my planner, but it is one of the ways that I do like to have it just so that I can look at it every single day as I'm walking out the door to go to school or work or whatever. Okay, so I thought I would just share with you guys um, a whole rundown. I just wrote everything out. So I usually like to do red as school stuff. So I have to have like my TV testing done um, and sign up for next semester by the 20th. So yeah, I just like to have all my stuff in red that is related to school. I have my appointments in green. Um, purple is work stuff and blue is like personal stuff or fun stuff. So yeah, this is kind of how I like to do like my monthly planner. It isn't like the most precise. I don't have everything on here to a T, but I do like to just have it so that I can like look ahead and see what I have coming. Okay, so I thought I would just show you guys how I went about organizing this board that I usually keep behind my door. So like I said, I like to have a to-do list for stuff for school and then I have my to-do list for life things. Now these are like very short and brief. I'm probably going to add more to it later. This is just the stuff I thought of like off the top of my head that I need to deal with like this coming week. And then over here, I just like to keep a motivational quote of the week. I know that sounds kind of lame, but like I just like to have something up there for me to look forward to. So this quote that I picked for this week says, great things never come from comfort zones. And with the new year coming, like 2020, I have a lot of goals. I have a lot of things I want to accomplish. And I know a lot of them are going to require me to step out of my comfort zone a little bit when it comes to like moving out, starting block two, stuff like that. So like I said, I just like to have a motivational quote up, just something I can look at every day. And then down here, I just have some personal goals. So I have really gotten into meditating this semester and I feel like it's really, really helped me calm down. Um, especially I get super duper stressed with school. 
so yeah i like to have that and then journaling as well has helped me just decompress if i can get around to doing it twice a week i really try to do that and then right here i just have my countdown so my countdown to surgery and then my countdown to winter break so yeah that is like what i like to do um to organize my week okay hi guys so it is about 1 20 now and i decided that i was gonna try and be social today go out in public so right now i am about to go to target i'm gonna see if i can try and get some new christmas presents or not new what am i saying some christmas presents i seriously haven't bought a single christmas present yet this year and so i'm really slacking usually i'm done by this time and just with nursing school and work I haven't even gotten around to doing anything black friday i didn't go shopping at all like i thought i was going to so yeah i'm gonna head to target right now i'm also gonna look to see if i can find any more apartment stuff i have my list here of all the stuff i have left to buy um and i've been checking off as i go but i'm really trying to get all of this before i even move out so yeah i'll take you guys along for that okay so i apologize for the horrible lighting but I had a successful Target trip, at least apartment-wise. I only got one gift, but I got a new hamper, and then I ended up finding a shower curtain and finally finding a bedding set. So I will do like an in-depth haul, I guess, later on when I get home. All right, now I'm gonna go to American Furniture Warehouse and see if I can find any nightstands. I've really been looking for two identical nightstands, and I can't find any that I absolutely love. So I'm gonna go there and see if I can find anything. Okay, hey guys, it has been quite a while since I filmed. Um, I have not been the best the last two days. I've just been super duper busy. But right now, um, it is Saturday, December 7th, and I actually have a wedding that I'm going to shoot. Um, a little fun fact about me is that I like to do photography on the side. So I'm gonna try my best to get a little bit of footage of that. I think I'm gonna combine Vlogmas day five, six, and seven, just cause I feel like I haven't really got as much content as I would have liked to. So yeah. I will talk to you guys in a little while. Okay, hi guys. I just got back from the wedding. I took my makeup off. Right now, I'm just going through and uploading all of the pictures onto my computer. I started to edit them. Let me see if I can show you. So I'm gonna show you one of the pictures that I just edited. Obviously, it's not gonna show up very good on here, but I just went through and I started editing the pictures. Um, this was just a family, oops. This was just a family friend's wedding that I got asked to do. Um, I normally kind of just do my photography on the side. I really enjoy doing it, but with nursing school, it's really, really hard to find time to do anything. So whenever I get the opportunity to do a shoot, um, I do do it. And so, yeah, I did this wedding for a family friend. I'm really happy with how the pictures turned out. I'm actually like super duper proud of them. So I'm just gonna continue editing those and then I'm probably gonna try and get some studying in. Um, before I go to bed, it is already like 11.40 and I have to work at 10 a.m. So I don't know how late I'll be up, but I will keep you guys updated. Okay, hi guys. It is currently Sunday night, December 8th. I am headed to go to dinner with one of my friends. <gasps> oh, please don't be broken. Please don't be broken. Oh, thank God. Sorry about that. Okay, so right now I am just heading to dinner with my friend. Um, we are going to go to BJ's. I haven't seen her in like a few weeks just because like a finals week and everything like that. So, ooh, very bright. So we're going to go do that right now. Um, I am so not feeling good today. I have like the worst like congestion and everything. I'm going to try at the end of this to do like the mini haul of all the things that I got at Target the other day because I realized I hadn't done that. So yeah, right now I'm just gonna go to dinner and I'll talk to you guys in a little while. Phone eats first, baby. Some sliders, avo egg rolls, popsicles, and mo. Wow, look at that. Beautiful. I actually really, really like this iPhone camera. Beautiful. Oh, we're losing a wall Okay, hi guys. So I just got back from dinner. My feelings of sickness are progressively getting worse. This is so annoying. I have like the most runny nose and then also stuffy at the same time. 
so I'm really sorry if I sound kind of nasally in this part of the video, but um, uh, yeah, I just got back from dinner with my friend Mo. Um, kind of just caught up. I haven't seen her in a few weeks and actually got to like sit down, talk about life. That's like our favorite thing to do is go out to dinner and just catch each other up on everything. So yeah, I think right now um, I'm going to continue editing those videos, or what am I saying, those photos um, from the wedding yesterday, and then I'm going to get some studying in, and then I'm really going to try and get to bed early here, so. Okay, hi guys, so it is many days later now, it is actually Tuesday, December 10th, and this vlog is going to be all over the place. Um, I wanted to try and do the daily uploading, but just with finals week and everything like that, it just did not happen, so I think I'm going to formulate like days 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 into one whole video just because I feel like I didn't get enough footage. I didn't even film it all yesterday. So I kind of wanted to put in here somewhere in the video all of the stuff that I ended up getting from Target and then some of my things that I ordered from Amazon finally came in. So at the end of this video right now, I'm just going to show you all of that. So I just have a little bit more footage um, and you can kind of see what I've been doing the last two, three, four days or whatever it's been since I last uploaded. So I'll start with the Target stuff and then we'll go into the Amazon stuff. So the first thing that I got from Target was just this hamper right here. I don't know if you can see it. It's just like a black and white hamper and it comes with like a little top. I wanted something so I could like hide my clothes. I plan on putting it in my closet and keeping it in my closet, but if I ever do bring it out, I just kind of like having a cover so that it's like kind of secure, not secure. It's covered, I guess, so people can't see your stuff. And then the other thing I got from Target was just a duvet cover. Now this duvet cover that I got is the Nate and Burkus Project 62 one, and it's just textured, if you can kind of tell. I don't know if you can see that, but it's just a textured duvet cover. Um, and I know that it's just a duvet cover, so with that being said, I ended up buying from Amazon a big white fluffy comforter. Now it's in this this one right here, right next to it, the duvet cover's there, and the comforter's here. So I just plan on using that as like my bedding, and then I kind of want to eventually get a weighted blanket. I don't know if I need it like right now, so I'm not getting it just because they're kind of expensive, but um, that's kind of what I'm gonna do for my bedding. I think I'm just gonna have it be all white, and then I also got from Target um, just two simple things. I got some like cotton rounds, for you to like clean your face and then I got some lemon scented um, kitchen soap just because I I don't know in the kitchen I just like the smell of lemon I just think it smells fresh so that's what we're gonna have in our kitchen and then the other thing that I got from Amazon was just a shoe organizer which is this one right here it's a five tier shoe organizer so I'm gonna actually I was going to wait and not build it until I actually moved in, but part of me wants to build it to see if it's big enough for all my shoes, and if it's not, then I'm gonna order another one just so I have two, um, because that was like the biggest I could find was like a five-tier one that wasn't like over $100. So that is what I'm gonna do for that, and honestly, this was like kind of like a small haul at the end of this, but I just wanted to show you what I've got and the updates on how everything's going with the apartment. Tonight, my roommate and I are supposed to go to Ikea to see if we can find a TV stand. That's like the last big piece of furniture that we need. We already have like our dining room table, TV stand. I bought both of our like side tables for the living room and then our coffee table here. And then she has a couch. So honestly, we've really been chipping away at everything and I'm really, really excited. We're 16 days away from getting our keys and yeah. Um, I think that's going to be it for this video. I'm finally going to end it off and upload it. And just know that Vlogmas will get better now that I'm out of school. So I will see you in my next one.